Hi, I'm Jonathan Wright. I want to welcome you to our showroom here at Naples Motorsports. Today we're going to be showing you our beautiful 2009 Midnight Blue Aston Martin DB9 Volante. So you take a look at the car here, you'll see the uh, factory 19 inch 15 spoke alloy wheels. Behind the wheels there you'll see our silver painted brake calipers. So move around to the front of the car, you'll notice the Bizeon headlamps with the power washers. And you'll notice that the, uh, the lens for the lights is, uh, is not uh, hazy or, or foggy or anything. It looks brand new. If you look at the front of the car, uh, the bumper, you'll see that the whole front of the car is protected by a clear mask. So there's no rock chips or dings or dents or anything like that on it. This car is also equipped with front and rear parking sensors. And you'll notice the Aston Martin badge here on the front of the car. That badge is actually hand stamped, hand painted, and then baked in an oven. And it doesn't get put on the car until the car is completely done and has received its final inspections and approvals. We'll open the hood here, take a look at the power plant. The DB9 Volante is powered by a 6 liter V12 producing 450 horsepower. Uh, it's an all aluminum chassis that's bonded, not welded. Um, when they bond the, uh, the two pieces of aluminum together to form the chassis, the weakest point is the metal itself, not the bond. If you were to try to take the, uh, the bonded pieces of aluminum and rip them apart, it would rip the metal instead of the bond. You'll see here the uh, aluminum supports inside the engine bay, which give it its uh, structural rigidity. Uh, the Aston Martin has probably one of the most structurally rigid chassis on the market, which really gives it beautiful handling and uh, a wonderful ride. You'll see here the, uh, the plaque where um, the final inspector uh, put his name on it and actually signed off on the car. Um, so what he did was he did his final inspection of the car and said everything was good to go. Uh, his name is actually Mick Freeman. You can actually go to the factory and visit him if you buy the car. Uh, these cars are all hand built in uh, Gaden, England. Uh, they have a beautiful state of the art facility there. As we look down the uh, passenger side of the car here, you'll see no dings, dents, scratches. The car is in amazing condition. If you take a look at the uh, front wheels here, You'll see there's no curb marks or pitting or anything like that on the wheels. Again, amazing condition. As we look down the side of the car, you'll notice the aluminum side strakes. Uh, Aston Martin doesn't use a lot of plastics and stuff like that like most manufacturers do. They use real metal, so it's actually, you know, when people touch it, it's cool to the touch. The mirror supports here are magnesium. So you can actually stand on those and they wouldn't break. Very, very solid, lightweight material. As we open the door here, you'll notice how the door swings upward as you open it. This design is unique to Aston Martin. Um, Aston Martin is the only manufacturer to use this. And as you open the door, you'll notice that it stays in whatever position that you stop at. A lot of cars, when you open the door, you'll have two or three positions where the door will actually click into and hold the door. But this has a full range motion and the door holds in any position that you leave it at. If you take a look at the interior of the car, this car is finished in Sahara tan with a Caspian blue carpets. You'll notice the uh, condition of the, the interior as you take a look around. This car absolutely looks brand new. A lot of the problems you'll see with these type of cars is most of the interior is all leather and it's a high grade leather so um, when the the leather uh, heats up and cools down over time it'll actually shrink you'll notice it'll pull away from the dash and around the uh, the airbag and the, the instrument cluster and you see none of that in this car if you take a look at the driver's seat you'll notice that the driver's bolster has no wear on it um, the leather in this car is in amazing condition. Very, very minimal wear.
Now we'll step outside and we'll take a look uh, toward the back of the car here. Again, the rear wheel, you'll notice there's no curb marks, no scratches, nothing on the wheels. They're all four of them are perfect and look brand new. So we swing around to the back of the car, you'll notice the uh, dual chrome exhaust tips, the rear parking sensors, and again the uh, beautiful Aston Martin emblem right in the center of the, the trunk hood here. So we open the trunk, you'll see that there's enough space in here to throw a couple bags in and go away for a nice little vacation for a long weekend. Uh, it also has enough capacity to fit a full set of golf clubs. And you'll see we have all the original equipment that came with the car as far as the, the front license plate bracket, the original Aston Martin umbrella, uh, the optional Aston Martin first aid kit, the optional rear wind deflector, and the Aston Martin tire inflator kit. And we'll take a look down the driver's side here again. Uh, again, notice the condition of this car. Uh, the paint on this car is in amazing condition. Um, these cars are all hand painted. If you compare the, uh, the DB9 to the average 911 Porsche, the average 911 Porsche has about 50 man hours in the entire production of the car. The DB9 Volante has 52 man hours in the paint job alone and over 202 man hours total. So the fit and finish of this car is just truly amazing. Take a look at the driver's side here. As you take a look around, you'll notice the uh, burl walnut veneers on the door cappings, which is an option for this car. Um, as you take a look at the instrument cluster in the center console, you'll notice that the, the air conditioning dials, all the push buttons are all finished in aluminum and trimmed in aluminum. Uh, no plastics are used here. They only use the best materials. The uh, convertible top on this car is fully automatic. With just a push of a button, it goes up and down. Very, very simple to operate. Again, here on the uh, steering column, you'll see the paddle shifters. The right side being an up shift and the uh, left side being a down shift. Another thing that you'll notice as you look at the side of the car here are the door handles, how they're flush with the body of the car. One thing that Aston Martin tries to do is they try to build the cars as works of art. They don't want anything uh, protruding or, or sticking out or anything like that. In fact, if you go up here and look at the front of the car, on most cars when you shut the hood you'll notice a cut and shut line is what they call it across the whole front of the car where the hood closes. On the DB9, the hood comes all the way out to the front edge of the car so you don't have that cut and shut line so it keeps it very clean and very elegant. I'll show you our, uh, our books and keys here. We have all the uh, uh, original owner's manuals that originally came with the car along with both sets of keys and then our window sticker uh, showing uh, the options on the car. We ask you uh, to take a look around our showroom here. You'll see that we have a wonderful stock of inventory. Uh, we normally stock anywhere from 50 to 75 exotic cars at all time. And one thing we do here at Naples Motorsports is we only deal in the best product. We deal in that very small percentage of cars that are out there that are the cleanest low mileage cars you'll find. We work very hard on finding these cars. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm Jonathan Wright and uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have please visit us at naplesmotorsports.com.